connected to us. Yeah. You know in the Brandon Church, I teach you, you can't do anything without the Holy Ghost. It isn't just words. It's the Holy Ghost. You can talk, but the Holy Spirit has to connect you. The Holy Ghost has to connect you. Brother Jerry, I know that you've sat back quietly, and I know that you, uh, I, I know that you can sit and not have to say anything. But I, I'm not going to let you go without you. Come up here with me, and you greet these people. Uh, you know, I've been, I'm not going to call on him to preach. He can preach if he wants to, if he feels to. Uh, but uh, I, I know how it is to be called up at the very last of the service of the convention, and people are tired, and then somebody says, Preach! I've had that done to me. <laughs> Uh, that's when the Lord gave me that message, fill it up again, Joe, one night. <laughs> story of a drunk in a bar. And everybody was, and I said, fill it up again, Joe. I want you to greet the people. Or do, I, I, I've got confidence of Holy Ghost in you. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord, everybody. Have you got a little more strength, church, to hear? Oh, yeah. From Pittsburgh. Yeah. Oh. He can feel it. He'll know. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just a greeting, Brother Marlon. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's wonderful to be in Brennington. Uh, for me, this is home. Uh, it's not a strange place. And um, I have been here. I stayed here many days a year with all the brothers here. And I just want to, first of all, appreciate God for our brother Marlo, who has been so patient in helping us to do what God has called us to do in the ministry. And also thank God for the church here that has been so patient in supporting the work of God that brother Marlo has been supporting. I'm very, very grateful to the church here. And then also, to come here over the weekend and hear different men of God preach the way they preached, I've been blessed. I have been blessed. I have been blessed. And um, already, as we can see, I think I wouldn't behave like a man that told the people that uh, I just want to say a few words. And then after speaking for two hours, and he said, with these few words, I hope you are blessed. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to behave like that, but I just want to say I am blessed. Yes. I've heard many things here, and uh, all I want to say to each and everyone that is here is one thing is that let's just be courageous. Come on. Yeah. Let's just be courageous yeah. and leave fear alone. Yeah. There are reasons why we have to be courageous. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joshua has told that you need to be courageous because God is with you. Yeah. Just that God is with you. And why is God with you? Jeremiah was told that before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. That's not getting on a bus to Chicago. That's the great God having purpose for your life. That's not going to Michigan. That's having God into the earth. Oh, yeah. He is obligated to save you and I. He is obligated to hold you, to strengthen you. Fear not. When you walk 
life that God ordained for you to do. And be courageous. God is with you.